Ho, ho, ho! Merry Christmas, boys and girls, and welcome back to Santa's Toy Shop. Thank you for joining us for another edition of Santa Reads. Let's see what book we have today. Santa's Magic Book says it's Merry Christmas, Pooh. One snowy Christmas Eve, Winnie the Pooh looked up and down, in and out, and all around his house. I have a tree, some candles, and lots of decorations, he said. But something seems to be missing. Suddenly, a soft knock sounded on Pooh's door. Perhaps whatever Pooh was missing was just outside. Pooh opened the door. A small snowman stood shaking on his front doorstep. H Hello, P Pooh, the snowman said through chattering teeth in a shivery, quivery, but oh so familiar voice. I do like Christmas, but I wish my ears wouldn't get so very cold. Pooh invited the snowman in. After much melting by Pooh's cozy fireplace, the snowman looked less like a snowman and more like Pooh's best friend, Piglet. My, Pooh said, happy to see a friend where there used to be a snowman. My, Piglet said, now warm enough to notice Pooh's glowing Christmas tree. Are you going to string popcorn to decorate your tree, he asked. I had popcorn and string, Pooh admitted looking at the popcorn crumbs. But now there's only string. That's okay, Piglet said with a laugh. We can use string to wrap the presents you're giving. And that, something began to tickle the brain of the little bear. I forgot to get presents, Pooh exclaimed. Pooh had known he was missing something, but he had no idea it was presents for all his friends. Don't worry, Pooh, Piglet said, trying to smile bravely. It's the thought that counts. Soon, Piglet left for his own home. He had his own Christmas preparations to finish. Pooh didn't know what to do about the forgotten presents, but he did know where to find help. Pooh grabbed his hat and scarf, bundled up to trek all the way to Christopher Robin's house. Hello, Pooh called, knocking on Christopher Robinson's door. Come in, Pooh, Christopher Robin said, smiling as he let his friend inside. Why do you look so sad on the most wonderful night of the year? In his excitement at seeing Christopher Robin's Christmas decorations, Pooh forgot all about the presents again. What are those, he asked, pointing to some stockings that were hanging above the fireplace. Those are stockings to hold Christmas presents, Christopher Robin explained to his friend. Now Pooh was even sadder. He had just remembered that he didn't have presents or stockings. Luckily, the bear of little brains was smart enough to have a good friend. Christopher Robin happily gave Pooh stockings for himself and all his other friends. Pooh thanked Christopher Robin and hurried off to deliver the stockings. I will get everyone presents later, Pooh said to himself. The stockings come first. With a small note that said, from Pooh, he left the stockings for Piglet, Tigger, Rabbit, Eeyore, Gopher, Kanga, Roo, and Owl. Later, back in his own comfy house, Pooh tried to think of presents for his friends. But sleepy Pooh's thinking soon turned into dreaming. The next morning, Pooh was awakened by a big and bouncy knock at his door. Sleepily, Pooh opened the door. Merry Christmas, Pooh, his friends shouted. Pooh was about to apologize for not having any presents for his friends when Piglet, Tigger, Rabbit, Gopher, Eeyore, Kanga, Roo, and Owl started thanking him. Pooh was confused, but happy to see them all at his door. He welcomed them inside. No more cold ears with my new stocking cap, 
Piglet said. My stripedy sleeping bag is terrific, Tigger exclaimed. So is my new carrot cover, Rabbit chimed in. Gopher thanked Pooh for the rocking collection bag, and Eeyore swished his toasty tail warmer with a slight smile. Owl announced that his wind sock was perfect for figuring out which way the breeze was blowing. And Kanga and Roo loved their new scarves. Something awfully nice is going on, Pooh said, but I'm not sure how it happened. It's called Christmas, Buddy Bear, Tigger replied. Then everyone gave their presents to Pooh. Lots of pots of delicious sweet honey. Surrounded by his friends and his favorite tasty treat, Pooh had to agree. Christmas, what a sweet thought indeed. Merry Christmas, Winnie the Pooh.